Hey everyone, you're looking at my uh, Ford 5000 here and I'm uh, just about to put on a proper uh, rear remote valve. Um, what I had before that when I picked up the tractor was uh, just a single uh, a single remote, which you can see right there, that I was hooked up to uh, basically a constant power outlet. So you'd this, this banjo fitting was hooked up on here and you would just pull this lever out and it would send a constant flow of fluid to that outlet. But that's pretty useless for most uh, tractor implements. So um, uh, when you pop this off, though, you're gonna have all you're gonna have is this uh, this this banjo fitting bolt to go in there, so that's not gonna work. But uh, conveniently, there's a, there's a plug right here, and uh, because you're not gonna use this plate anymore, you take this plug out and you can put it right on there, and that'll plug that hole. Um, and the way you gotta do is you just gotta undo all these uh, these hex screws here. Um, and there's one small smaller one in the middle. Make sure you undo that one as well, or else the plate is not gonna come off. So you take the plate off. Be sure to clean around all this too before you open anything up so you don't get a bunch of dirt or debris into the uh, into the hydraulic system. But so, uh, so yeah, I've taken all those uh, all those screws off. Now the plate should just come right off. Um, uh, you know, you can check just to see. It looks pretty clean. I don't know when the last time this thing came off, but it looks pretty clean. So I'll just stash it right here for now. And then what you're going to want to do if you need to is just uh, brush off the surface if, uh, if necessary. Um, it looks pretty good here, but I'm just going to give it a quick little little brush. Just make sure if there is anything in there, like just using this rag here, make sure that nothing goes in any of those holes. If there is any any debris, this is quite clean though. And then, uh, then the next step is going to be to put your uh, put your valve on. So I'm just going to set this phone right here for a second, so I can do that. First of all, check and make sure that uh, all of your uh, your O-rings are in place, uh, which they are, and the surface is also clean here. And then uh, what you're going to want to do is flip it over and put it down. So there we go, we're in place. Um, uh, you should be able to use two of the, uh, of the four, four screws that came with it, but you're gonna have to pick up a couple new ones if, uh, if you don't, uh, don't have any on hand. You might give, need to give it a little bit of a wiggle to get those in there. Um, that's the size you're gonna want. So you're gonna, take, you're gonna have to pick up a couple bigger ones this size to make that work. And then once you've got got those all tightened down you'll then have to put your uh, your hoses there they're also gonna be similar style banjo fitting uh, you're gonna put those in there and then uh, you just run them out to the back and then you're ready to go um, obviously fire it up and test it uh, make sure that you know you're getting you're getting flow to the uh, um, uh, flow to those remotes but also make sure there's no leaks because if there are any leaks then uh, probably means you need to place uh, replace some o-rings you can pretty much take those O-rings anywhere, and uh, someone should be able to, like, like any any hydraulic shop, and uh, they'll be able to uh, to replace those for you. And they're pretty inexpensive, so yeah, it's a pretty easy job to do, and it makes uh, makes a heck of a difference to have uh, have uh, have remotes. Um, uh, my other my 5600 has has a set, but this the 5000 didn't. But now these tractors are pretty much interchangeable. Um, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them in the uh, uh, yeah, throw them in the comment section. Thanks. Bye.